It's Saturday night and you're hosting a house party. You've got your friends and family around, everyone's enjoying themselves, the atmosphere is great, music's up nice and loud. Or you're watching a movie, you're waiting for an Amazon delivery. The delivery driver knocks on your door and you miss the delivery. Ringing. So those headphones you've been waiting for get returned to the depot waiting for you to go and collect them. So how can we get over this situation? With the LAN we can route a preset audio file to interrupt the active media in a zone. So whether the music in the kitchen is too loud or it's that scene where Arnie and the Predator are having a face off. Let's go ahead and see how we can figure this. Now providing you've got your audio zones, your intercom set up and your dial plans configured, you're good to go. You'll need to connect the LAN controller to the audio system and have the ability to switch the inputs on say the audio matrix or a matrix amp or even an AVR. So I've got my SC100 and my LAN matrix amp. The matrix amp has a dedicated 3.5mm audio input for the doorbell. So I've made the physical connection and created a binding in configurator and the rest of the configuration is then in the viewer. In the viewer, we go to the settings cog and we go to the advanced settings. And then we go into intercom global settings. In there, you've got media zone paging. On the right, we have the page volume and the power on delay. The page volume is the volume level. The doorbell will come out of the speakers in the particular zones. Power on delay is how long the delay is after the zone has been powered on. An example may be if the cinema room is off and the doorbell is pushed, the AVR needs to turn on and switch to the correct input. This can take a good 3 or 4 seconds. So I'll leave the page volume as 35 and put the power on delay to 2 seconds for this example. I'll go back a page and now go to assign the door station dial plans. got a dial plan called home I'll click on that and there's an option for the doorbell settings I'll go into that and the first option is the doorbell sound the default is ding dong which I can play the sample I've got a cell phone ring We've got a four tube tone. Yes, we'll have some of that. I'll select the targets. I'll choose office, living room and the cinema. On my office, I want to control the power. So if the zone's off, Turn it on, play the audio chime, and then turn the zone back off. And I want it to have volume control, so the doorbell tone will play at level 35 rather than go to the level that the room is at. So if the volume of the room is at 60%, the doorbell would come through that loud. So I'm going to have it control the volume and go down to 35. But depending on your configuration, you can leave these options unchecked. So when a zone is powered off, for instance, the doorbell won't play if that zone is off. And without volume control, the doorbell will just follow the volume that the zone's on. It all depends on what your end user wants. And that's done. So let's go ahead and put some music on. I'm going to pop the radio on on my Fusion Research player. So that's Dance UK. Perfect for a house party. So the music's playing. Someone now rings the intercom doorbell. The music now stops. The doorbell chime plays through the speakers. The viewer is also ringing, the doorbell chime stops and the music then resumes. And that's a really simple example of how to interrupt media using a LAN with a IP doorbell. And yes, this also works if you are streaming Bluetooth to the panel as well. This tells us another thing, that you can also use the doorbell input as an additional audio input as well. So thank you for watching this quick video and I hope it's of some help.